One of those measures is positive identity, which is, includes having a sense of control over one's life, feeling good about self and future, dealing well with disappointment and life's challenges, and thinking about one's purpose in life. And of the four measures that we have, again, three of them, uh, we have data for two years and um, from St. Paul and one year from Minneapolis. Positive identity had the lowest rate um, of students self-reporting as having that skill. So whereas the others, uh, commitment to learning, were in the 70s, social competence in the um, 50s, positive identity was in like 46% or something. And again, not using this in a high stakes way, um, but thinking about what that says for our students that so many of them are reporting that lower than other skills, having positive identity, it to me reinforces what Dale said about what the adults need to do to create an environments that support children. So that was one of the pieces of data that I said, hmm, I wonder what this is about. Um, so I'll just say that I don't have lessons, but, um, but learnings that I'd like to gather um, and our team is working with our partners to gather about how we can better support children.